Okay, so I want to show you how to hook your HX effects up to your Mesa Triple Crown to use MIDI chan channel changing. This proved kind of difficult being a beginner, but I have figured it out using the snapshot mode so you don't have to go between presets and each snapshot will change the channel of the amp and you can set up your signal chain to work in conjunction with that. So we're going to start on a basic clean preset. We're on preset, come up here, 19A. I'm using HX Edit. I clicked a blank preset. It has a blank snapshot. Everything is empty. The whole blockchain is empty. So we're going to start with going to Window and Command Center. These are instant presets. And these you can assign the channel changing to a foot switch, but that will take up one of your spots to use on your pedal to change whatever effect you want to put on there. So you can change it instantly. So let's start with number one. You come over to Command, come down and hit MIDI CC. The Mesa has a dip switch on the back, a rotator that goes from 0 to 9 and then A to F, giving you 16 different preset options, MIDI channel options for 256 presets. That's a whole lot to work with, so we're going to stay on dip switch setting 0. With it being on 0, we need to put our MIDI channel base at 1. And in your book, it will show you for the Triple Crown amp that the clean channel is MIDI CC number 20, low gain 21, high 22. Effects loop 23, reverb 24, and solo is 25. I am not worried about those right now, only the channel changes. So the MIDI channel, if we want to make snapshot 1 the clean channel, we're going to put that value up to 20. And it says here to control that value on, we need to be 64 to 127 on the values on all three channels. So we'll take this up to anything above 64. We can go ahead and set our second channel doing the same thing, MIDI CC. We're going to keep the base at 1. The channel now for low gain is 21, so we'll go up to that. And a value again above 64. Go ahead and set the high gain channel doing the same thing. MIDI CC channel is 1. CC number is 22. and value above 64. Okay, so right now, all these are considered on. For snapshot one, we only want the low gain on. I'm gonna back channel three, instant three back to zero, and instant two back to zero, or below 64. That's for snapshot one. Snapshot two, let me hit done. We're going to go to snapshot 2, we want that low gain, go back to window, command center, we're going to take instant 1 back to 0 and bring instant 2 above 64, hit done. Snapshot 3 is going to be our high gain, command center, take instant 2 back to 0 and instant three up and hit done. So now if we go over to the amp and the HX effects and I hit snapshot one on the amp we've got the green channel. Now I'm going to go down here and hit snapshot two go up to the amp we're on the mid or the middle channel which is low gain come back to the HX effects hit snapshot three and we are now on the high gain. The same thing can be done on the instance to add the effects loop in if you want it on or off using the values in the book as well as reverb and solo. However, the HX effects offers all of these things, the reverb and any kind of boost within all the effects they give you. You can use your effects loop on and off to use your four cable method or whatever you want to do, but for the basic channel changing, it is now set within the presets. So if I want to go to snapshot one 
and now add a distortion block and put a tube screamer in an EQ let's go back distortion tube screamer new block an EQ simple EQ I can now use that within all of these come back down here so now on snapshot one if I go to mode I've got my EQ and my tube screamer I can set those to off go back to snapshot two turn those on or off and I'm still changing channels on the amp at the same time but all of those are available within the snapshots snapshot three going to the high gain channel and still have the 808 and the EQ available pretty simple once you get the hang of it